My starting point for this project was this statement from Adafruit, which is on their webpage for this matrix. Since the protocol is very sensitive to timing, can't argue with that, it goes on, it requires a real-time microcontroller and cannot be used with a Linux-based microcomputer and most importantly an 8 MHz processor or faster is required. Challenge accepted Adafruit. Here we have a bare bones RC2014 classic consisting of a Z80 processor, ROM, RAM, serial I.O. It's clocked at 7.3 MHz. I'm going to reduce the exposure now because filming these pixels is really difficult. Believe it or not, this little demo is written in MS Basic, although the actual driver is a blob of Z80 machine code with a few handy routines that Basic calls. So if you know about the timings required for these pixels, and about the Z80, which uses minimum four and typically half a dozen of its clock cycles to execute even the simpler instructions, then it's clear that we need a little bit of help. I know what you're thinking. There's a microcontroller there doing the real work. But no, this board uh, contains a few logic gates and passives. That's it. The Z80 really is doing the driving. And because NeoPixels remember their colour once they're set, programming this display is easier than with my single colour 8x8 LED matrix. Because the pixels use a very clever serial protocol and can be daisy-chained, it's easy to add more. Here's a second 8x8 matrix. I've switched to my RC2014 Pro now simply because I've got these demos stored on my CF card. The computer is using the same Z80 processor at the same 7.3 MHz. Here are some more demos. This is a chess game. It's uh, reading the chess notation from a, from text and playing out the game. It's not obviously you couldn't play this, and it's not uh, intended that you sort of be able to follow it, but just to show the shape of the game. I've designed two boards. The tall one is designed to take that 8x8 matrix from Adafruit, although it will drive any 8x8 matrix or any arrangement of any number of similar pixels. Uh, and there's this standard size module which uh, takes eight similar pixels, in this case diffused ones. In both cases there are headers on the board to drive any number of pixels off the board and bypass if you want to uh, the ones that, that are on the board. <laughs> 